Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my ring binders or my ring organizers. Some people even call them planner rings or ring planners. So basically, those are rings where you can put inserts. And a lot of those inserts are dated, so they are like structure as a planner. And I have here the one that I use for work is in this pouch. And probably if you watch some of my previous videos, I wasn't using this cover for this uh, organizer. I'm using the plotter. So this is the one that I use for work. So I call it my workbook. And the other one, which is here inside my pouch, this pouch in my bag is another plotter, but um, mini six or pocket size is the one that I use on the go just for fun. It's not really <clears throat> a main thing of where I kept all the details, but I have these two sizes. So before, if you watch the previous videos, I have inserts here that I would use for work. And what I think is nice of the plotter is that the rings are really small. And if you pair the small rings with also thinner paper, you can actually fit a lot of paper in here, a lot of pages, and you can write on it. I mean, I'm doing this because I'm left-handed, but you can write on your inserts without having to take the pages out if the rings will like bother you and also is very slim small lightweight perfect to take um with you if you use it for work let's say so this is the plotter in the bible size this is also same size as personal i don't know why some japanese brands call them bible this other cover that i got um, I think a month ago. It's from a brand, also a Japanese brand called Brelio. I don't know if you can read here. I found this one on Amazon Japan. And the price point is, I mean, it's not the cheapest uh, cover if you compare like to Filofax and some other brands, but it wasn't actually very expensive. I think it was around 100 something. Uh, it's a bit less expensive than the plotter, but it's a completely different material. This one is a Payable leather, which is a type of leather that I really like because it's very giving uh, Especially when you're taking things around. I also fell in love with the color. You guys know I love blue But they offer a lot of different sizes different models even like ring sizes and Different colors as well. So they are like more neutral tones if it's what you are looking for What I liked about this one is although I really love those rings as the months would go I would need to keep some more of my inserts together because there's still projects that were not done not finished so i didn't really want it to be removing the pages from the past months and so i was looking for a bigger set of rings so these rings are 16 centimeters this one are 11 so if you look here you'll see the difference it's still in the small size so when you would open it will still be comfortable to write on them at least to me so that's why I was looking for and actually I really loved the color and how it is. It lays flat when it's open. This is also a big advantage of the plotters that it will be completely flat. Some of uh, ring organizers, they might not lay completely flat, which to me, it's something that's really, like, it really bothers me because if I want to write in them, I want the page to be completely flat. There's a lot more of pockets on this one, but as you can see, I don't put a lot more for now i only have those stickies and here what i have is very similar than before i just added a decoration page just i don't know to make it pretty i like to do those sort of things but what is very functional to me is to have all the sticky notes closed because i do need them and then right after i start with the monthly inserts those inserts are from plotter and I really like it because the paper is very thin, as I said, but I kind of like the yellowish tone to it. I I mean, it doesn't bother me. I think I got used to it with my Hobonichi weeks. And I like that the weekends are divided. Since this is mainly used for work, I don't work a lot on weekends. Sometimes I have to go to the lab on weekends, but it's not like, you know, something that happens all the time. You can see here, sometimes it's only like one or two weekends a month. And basically what I'm doing here, I am uh, writing stuff related to projects, meetings, deadlines, everything related to work. If there is something on my personal life that would affect work, for instance, 
um, I'm the only one taking care of my son. If my husband is busy, then I will write down that I'm doing pick up or drop off at school or any appointment that will interfere so that I make sure to not like schedule a meeting or anything on that day. Uh, I have the colors that correspond to important things to me. They would stick out in a way that I know what is related to. Uh, so there is like some sort of a color coding. So when I establish that, I make this little key, but now I'm pretty much used to it, so I don't look at it as often, but before I had to. And I actually like it because then each time I look at the calendar, I know how things are and what I have to do. So uh, it's very handy to get organized and to manage, you know, all your projects at once. I like that it has space for to do, so I tend to put on this to do list important things for the month that I need to accomplish, especially things that I have the deadline coming, so I have to make sure that these things get done. And yeah, so this is basically what the monthlies are for. And then after the monthlies, I started testing out those weekly inserts from Plotter. And I, I like it, but I am not really, um, not, I would say I didn't really get used to this page. So here you have all the days of the week on the left side and on the right side, you would have a page for notes or so. It's very similar to the Hoboniche Weeks, but there is this division. And I thought I would be able to ignore the division and just write a, a full to-do list. Or if I would do a day per week that would go over both sides, but I don't know. So far, I didn't really like it as a place to write to do. So for some reason, my brain doesn't like it, <laughs> but I really like if I have to uh, in this sort of insert, write, I don't know, any thoughts or to-dos and stuff that come out during the day that are not really related to work. Well, let's say you are at work and you receive a call that an appointment got rescheduled, or you remember you have to do groceries and then you, you know, just jot down a little list, or anything that comes to your mind, or you want to write how you're feeling today, if you have a headache, or if you have, I don't know, something that you would like to mention in your next appointment, things like that that can come out and you don't necessarily want to put on your planner, um, of you know, your work planner. So I, I thought, you know what, I already have this insert. I love the paper, but it's not really working for me as the full insert for the work organization, but I can for sure write stuff in it. <laughs> and because it's very thin, so this is what I did. I just create a section. And in this section, I'm essentially writing how the day is going, sometimes what I'm eating, because I have a lot of eating restrictions. And sometimes I uh, don't write anything if I don't, you know, nothing comes up, that's okay. Sometimes I take, I take my time and I decorate if I feel like it. I put a couple of things I need to do, like personal stuff, and that's it. So it's been good. Some weeks, those pages get more populated than others, and that's fine, because you know I have another personal planner for it. This is not the main thing. But there are weeks where I only i am in a mood of using this guy. So I'm taking this to work every day. I get home and I open this one up to check things. And there are other days where I'm not really in the mood for the rings. I'm just super attached to my Hobonichi weeks, to a book bound. And that's totally fine. To me, what is important in this organizer is to keep in, you know, information about work. So this thing gets updated. Every week, I check at least once or twice a week if I'm not in it every day. Like, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. And that's totally fine. And having the calendar uh, together with those weekly to-dos. So, this is only work. And what really changed and what has been really amazing for me to have a workbook is that I keep a lot of checklists. So, I have checklists and checklists of different things and those are color coded too and at least i don't lose track of what i'm doing what it's missing for a certain project for a certain seminar or presentation or for work of a certain student that has to finish in a like short deadline and things like that and so uh this spot here is really good for that and then once something is done and I don't need it anymore, I just take it out from here and I transfer it into a bigger binder. Bigger binder, I mean a binder that has bigger rings. And that's all. And here in the back, I just keep some like line pages or extra pages if I want. And if there are any notes that come up or pen tests that I want to do, I have it. I also added this um, plastic pouch 
is from Cat Espresso Co. There are a ton of uh, cool dashboards they have, and I keep some washi tapes and stickers to put here on my kind of personal section because I like it. When it's the work section, this one here, which is only like work, you know, tasks to do, meetings and things that I want to keep track of so that I don't forget. I don't really decorate this page, it's just pen. Um, this insert here is from Filofax, it's from their minimal line, and I really, really like it. And the paper is also thin, but not thin as blotter, but it's on a thinner side. And I really enjoy it, it's very clean, and you can just, you know, put your touch in it, it could be only pen, you could decorate, you could put markers, whatever you want. I haven't tested photon pens in it, I can do it in another video if you are interested in knowing just because I don't use fountain pens at work for now in my cup. <laughs> yeah, so the workbook is like that, and I absolutely love it. I really recommend this brand too, this Brelio. They have a lot of different leathers, different size, different size rings um, from Amazon Japan, and the shipping to Canada. It's not that expensive, but it's also not cheap. It's around 15 Canadian dollars, and it arrives in... I want to say three, four days max because it comes through DHL, but all the taxes and things like that are already um, paid in it, so you don't have to pay extra. So it's pretty good. But I also really like my plotter. I think I'm going to uh, repurpose this plotter to be an uh, ink sampler, like things to test with inks, but that I could organized by color because I do have an ink journal I can show later in another video but then with the rings I can just insert if I have more blues more reds more grays and this is something that I got inspired by Toxmox and she has a plotter that she was using um, on the video that she shared to be like a ink journal ink sample kind of thing and I will um, adapt mine for that so it will still be used so apart from this one I also have this little guy here which is the mini six that I got from plotter actually we did um a month or so of a collaboration where I was like mm, talking to them and and seeing and sharing my impressions and my experience with this planner which is really really amazing and tiny and cute and like so easy to just put in your bag and take it everywhere basically what i have in here is a lot of pages to carry um around when i go shopping for errands so what i go normally when i go out of the house if it's not for work uh i go for groceries uh when i go out shopping normally is related to stationery i'm not um, right now, this phase that I'm in my life, I'm not so big in buying clothes and stuff. I was like 20, 15 years ago, not right now, actually. Um, was it that long? No, I want to say 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> now I basically, if I go shopping, it will be stationary and food and toys for my son. But anyway, so I try to keep here information that I will need when I go out so I can do like grocery shop list or a to buy list or, you know, things that I need to buy. But I also keep a lot of the um, pen tasks that I do and a currently inked list so here i was basically testing out uh, inks from friends and here is uh first currently inked like this i know which uh inks i have and which inks i buy i also try to do that multiple times like this when i go to a shop i can test check again but wait what was that ink that i have um how did it you know write with that pen or that pen so i actually like to keep that on this little page here there are some pen tests in like multiple different pages yeah and then after this is i don't think i've shared before i wanted to put a little monthly here just because i don't know i just love calendars but i couldn't really find the monthly from plotter on amazon only i would have to get from plotter usa but because it was just like one refill it wouldn't make sense with the shipping uh i couldn't really find on amazon japan but then i find from this other shop that's called Knox. And I, I like it. It's a bit on the darker side with all these thick lines in gray and the red, but it's okay. I, the, it's a thin paper too. I think maybe Japanese inserts, uh, because of a lot of the rings are, 
I don't know what came first, right? The small inserts or the thin paper, but anyway, they just match really well. And uh, yeah, so this paper is very similar and I actually like it. So I'm using this one, it's dated. So I mark important things that we know that will be out of the house. So basically those are, if I want to check quickly, um, I will have it in here. And then the next section is um, an insert, a weekly insert from Filofax. And it came in one of the pocket organizers they, they sent me. And this one, the page is a little bit on the cream side, but I actually like it as well. So I've been just jotting down to do's when I feel like it. And because I absolutely love stickers and I have a ton of them, this is where I'm using a couple more of stickers than sometimes what I do in my regular planning, but certainly not in my work planner, but in a Hobonichi, because here it doesn't really matter if I don't have a lot of space. I just need to track or write down little things but actually sometimes it's a lot of fun just to do it you know when i'm watching series or i have some free time in front of the tv i would just go and play with it and i yeah i'm loving it i really love this tiny thing and again the paper is kind it's really smooth i really like it this cream paper is smoother than the one from the minimal line in my opinion but i really like it and here in the back, I have a couple lists. So I have like cleaning, the clutter list, wish list, and I think I have an order. Oh yeah, an order tracker list as well. And I think that's all. And I added here on the back this um, plastic insert. So it's kind of a zip envelope where I keep some washi tapes and stickers that I would like to use. And here you can put a pen on this little clip. So it's very handy. So one of the things that I enjoyed also with this um, little binder is that I didn't have a lot of tabs or anything. So I just went through my stash with some cards that I have from different shops and I just cut and punched. So this is actually a big card that comes when you buy stickers from Happy Daya. They come protecting the stickers. So I just cut them to size and punch them like this. I'm... In, yeah, I don't know, because I, I receive them each time I buy stickers from them, from the subscription that they have. Uh, I was like, I want to use them. They're very cute. And then this is another one. So I might change them depending on the season. So it's also to make it fun. So here, just have a little pen, picture of my son, all eclipsed to hold it. It's basically to open up and feel like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the small rings. And I've been still using them and loving them i'm not sure if i will acquire another cover in the future maybe yeah maybe not but for now i'm very satisfied actually and it's been working really well for work having this inserts and having information here it could be an all-in-one planner but i like a lot of things so i would never have only one planner it's impossible i'm like a stationary um lover and i love to test a couple things but there are certain things that i don't like to change much and one of the things is my workbook because then it works a bit more serious to be like transferring information all the time i also sometimes don't have the patience to do it um so yeah but i can obviously change the cover change inserts add and remove inserts this is also you know simple animal affect uh the organization that i have going on so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about those brands, the inserts or anything that I haven't mentioned, or if there is a missing link on the description box below, just shoot me a question. I'm happy to share the answer. I hope to see you next time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.